Alright guys, it is now afternoon here in San Juan. We are on Calle de la Fortaleza. This is actually one of the historical roads. They've got quite a bit of history along this avenue. That's what Calle is in Spanish. Some restaurants. If you guys enjoy virtual tours like this, please do consider hitting the like button. Letting us know where you are watching from. If you're someone watching from Puerto Rico, let us know. That alleyway. Or if you're someone just watching from the mainland states, looking to come here. walking tour we're actually going to take you up to Castillo San Felipe del Moro which is actually one of the fortresses that were uh, up on the hill here uh, we're going to go around the Fortaleza area and also show you guys around some more of old San Juan at night including getting close to La Perla is that a bonsai tree an oleander bonsai See, if you go up that way, it'll take you to the Corral. I'm sorry, it's not El Corral, it's uh, La Perla, which is a semi-famous neighborhood out here, historical, it's right on the waterfront. Also trying to show you guys around the uh, Spanish Ford, the big one. These roads are made of brick, and they're in reasonably good shape. Oh wow! Look at that. You see the ocean down there. We have to walk on that river waterfront. It is currently Thursday at around 12 o'clock p.m. There's Los Muchachos. Milano Diamond Gallery. Hey, could you imagine if this uh, had a heavy amount of traffic on it? One way street.
people are probably wondering how does the safety feel down here and I would say come here and feel no concern it's really safe I don't feel as though there's any thing that should make you feel uncomfortable here but that's the great thing about these virtual tours as you can see what it's like walking through here. The beach out here is called Playa Verde, Isla Verde. It's uh, kind of by the airport actually. And here is a look at Isla Verde. You can see they got the hammocks and really a nice place to do surfing. Old San Juan. Oh wow, what is this? The house where the pina colada was created in Portland. So this is the place. So this is where the actual pina colada comes from. Maybe in a little bit. Okay. Just walking. Wow, look at this. What in the world is going on here? It's like an infestation of pigeons. What are they doing? Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. That is crazy. That is crazy. I've never seen anything like that. Yeah, I've never seen anything like that with the pigeons. So, uh, anyways, let's keep on rolling through here and check out this gallery. This place. Oh, this is beautiful. It really is.
La Rogativa. Alright, what do we got going on here? There's, we got a, a walking area down there. I wonder how you get there. Old San Juan. Wow, this is very interesting. Coming out on the point here. Hmm, which way do I go? It's like this whole big fort. It really is like a fort up here. All right, so we're up on this hill. It's like on a point. It's a punta. The port, Puerto Rico. Hola. See the views. What was saying one? Wow, look at this place. Holy mackerel. Okay. Look at this. Here's the battery down here. And they used to take a chariot at this. That's a real fortification. Oh, wow, can you walk on that? Oh, that is slick. It was really slick. Not slick, but slanted. like something you would find in Europe. There's more fort <laughs> more of a fort than Europe. And I haven't seen anything on this magnitude even in Spain. Let's see if I can walk on this. Wow. Look at this place man. Santa Barbara Bear Battery.
special. So now we're coming back down off the hill. So Old San Juan is definitely old. I mean, it's got a lot of history here for real. It's amazing. They've got beautiful weather, especially when the storms start to come in. But when it's sunny, it's, it's humid. <laughs> got the Casablanca, they got the church here. I would definitely say it's worth a visit to come down to Old San Juan. Definitely worth it. No doubt about it. Okay, now we've got a storm coming in. But this is the Bastion de la Palmas. And you can see all the way across those same lines, harbor. Well, after about five to ten minutes of rain, it has now stopped. You see a little plumeria tree growing on the side of this old fort. <laughs> Anyways, give you a nice view right after the rain here. There's a Norwegian cruise line. I don't think it's active. I think it's just ported here. You can hear the thunder. Old San Juan at night. We're going to go take a walk through the streets. Let's do it. So you can see Old San Juan, 500 year old city. San Juan, obviously in Spanish, means St. John. So. It is currently a Wednesday night, I believe, or is it a Thursday night? I've actually lost track of time. I just came in from Punta Cana, Punta Cana, however you want to say it, Dominican Republic. I was there for five nights, six days. Went to a lot of places over there in the Punta Cana area, Sawana Island. Loved it so much, I was like, I need to experience more of the Caribbean. I'm actually hungry, so we're going to be doing some eating while we're down here, but definitely wanted to uh, at least get some downtown action. What we got here? It's hard to tell. It's open. We did get a big storm. Lots of rain when we came in. So... That definitely slowed things down, but there's a cruise ship right there. That is a huge cruise ship. Um, currently, the area we're at, I don't even see any street signs. I really don't know. All I know is this is Old San Juan. Now, that's not necessarily useful to you, the visitor, but I'm right next to the fort and the cruise terminal. Look at these buildings. oldest city in the United States. Hola! So as we continue to walk through Old San Juan in the evening time, uh, I'm also going to be showing you around parts of San Juan in the afternoon. So this is just kind of walking through here. We're actually going to La Perla, but I was told you should not film down there. Not because it's uh, necessarily dangerous, it's just not a good place to film. Wow, real nice. Banco Popular. I like how they light up the uh, city lights. 
these pinks and purple and blue. Old San Juan is looking like it had some sort of renovation done because it's in really good shape for a historical area. Like, this must be some sort of city center here. Kind of in a way, it looks like um, Coral Gables in Florida. So right up above here, we're in an area that looks like an old Spanish fort. Right above La Perla, you can kind of see down there. That whole area down there, whether you hear the cokey frogs, is La Perla.